When I delved into the research to create this video, I stumbled upon a survey that left me perplexed. Only 24% of the surveyed consumers stated that they felt conscious about their own consumption patterns. This means that the vast majority, 76% of people, lack the financial control they desire. This finding is somewhat alarming as it reveals a significant gap in financial education and personal money management. Pause and think for a moment. What does it mean to be a good consumer? For many, it goes beyond simply spending within their monthly budget. It involves having control over finances, avoiding impulsive spending, and maintaining a healthy mastery over the money coming in and going out. Unfortunately, this isn't the reality for most people. It's easy to fall into the trap of thinking that spending beyond one's means is only harmful to personal finances. However, the effects go much further. The stress and anxiety that accompany the lack of financial control are common symptoms in the lives of those who live this way. Bills pile up, debts grow, and a feeling of suffocation takes over. If you find yourself in this worrying cycle, in debt, or living on the edge of your resources, this might be one of the most important videos you'll watch about personal finances. It's time to take a step in the right direction, to get finances in order, and to seek a more balanced and peaceful life. Investing isn't just about multiplying the money you have, but also about organizing and disciplining your finances. When we start investing, we become more aware of how we handle our money. We constantly seek to improve our relationship with it, becoming more responsible and focused on our financial goals. If you're tired of this cycle of financial suffocation, if you're ready to take a new direction in your financial life, then now is the time to act. This is the moment to take the first step towards a life of stability and financial prosperity. So, before we continue, leave your like and let's embark together on this journey towards financial freedom. When we start to analyze our relationship with money, we realize the importance of making rational choices in our consumption habits. This shift in mindset is one of the first things we notice in the initial months of investing. It may seem simple at first glance, but it's fundamental to building the habit of investing. You'll understand why. Now, let's move on to the second objective I see when investing. Protecting against unforeseen events and expanding choices. If you've been following this channel for some time, you've probably heard about the importance of building an emergency fund. Although not exactly considered an investment, it's an essential measure to ensure financial stability. The emergency fund is the amount set aside to face unforeseen events, like the refrigerator breaking down at the worst possible moment or sudden problems with the gate or car. These are expenses we don't expect to have, but eventually arise. And when they do, having an emergency fund makes all the difference. You can address the issue without resorting to credit cards or loans. Facing these situations with a solid reserve in the bank provides a sense of security and peace of mind that is priceless. However, without an emergency fund, these unforeseen events can turn into significant financial headaches. Credit card payments, loans with high interest rates, and the subsequent accumulation of debt are just some of the unpleasant situations that can arise. That's why building and maintaining an emergency fund is one of the most important steps we can take to ensure our financial stability. Let's talk about something crucial, the emergency fund. It's not a fund to spend on frivolities. It's meant to be used in moments of real urgency. To build what I often call an initial reserve, it's important to have at least $2,000 saved. This amount can save you from various everyday emergencies. But where does the issue of having more choice come in? Well, when we have a complete emergency fund, equivalent to at least six months of our monthly expenses, we gain greater freedom and flexibility. We can consider making a career transition, for example. If we happen to lose our job, we don't need to panic and accept any opportunity that comes along. We can live for a few months on the money from the reserve until we find a new position, without constant financial pressure. So, do you see the importance of having a solid reserve, right? But if you're in debt, before building the reserve, it's essential to focus on paying off those debts. Now, let's move on to the third objective of investing that many have. Earning frequent returns, in other words, passive income. When we invest in fixed income, real estate funds, or dividend-paying stocks, even if the invested amount is small, we will receive some return for having invested it. For example, if we invest $100 in an investment that yields 1% per month, we will receive $1 at the end of the first month. It may seem little, and indeed it is, 
But the idea is not to invest only once and leave the money sitting there. The goal is to invest every month, thinking long term, and also increasing the amount of monthly contributions. After all, with just $100 per month, we won't see a big difference in returns. Investing may seem like a maze at first glance, an intricate path to navigate in search of financial stability. But as we begin, we can unravel this financial puzzle, piece by piece, as if assembling an ever-evolving mosaic. It's true that passive income, that colorful tapestry of financial returns, may take time to unfold before our eyes. However, we should not let that discourage us. On the contrary, it is by starting small that we take the first step towards a journey of financial transformation. Investing two or fifty dollars may not seem like much, but it's the beginning of something bigger, a seed we plant in our financial garden. After all, it's in the fertile soil of our habits that opportunities for growth flourish. If today you're used to spending all your income, simply starting is already a victory. It's as if we're weaving a new pattern into our financial fabric, a weave that intertwines with our goals and aspirations. And as we nurture this habit, it strengthens, becoming an intrinsic part of our routine. Investing, then, transcends the mere act of putting money aside. It's an invitation to reimagine our relationship with finances, to orchestrate a symphony of prosperity and security. Even in the face of limited resources, we can embark on this journey with confidence because every penny invested is a step towards a more solid future. So if you find yourself at a starting point, know that the path ahead is vast and full of promises. Just like a kaleidoscope, our investments transform and renew themselves, creating a panorama of constant change. And if today is just the beginning, tomorrow will surely be the next chapter of this captivating financial saga. Investing is more than simply setting aside a portion of your money for the future. It's a commitment to growth, a journey towards financial freedom and the fulfillment of dreams. It's always worth remembering that we invest to make our money work for us, to multiply our resources and achieve our life goals. So, a valuable piece of advice, focus on increasing your income through work. The more you earn, the more you can invest, thus accelerating the process of building your wealth. It's interesting to note how creating the habit of investing can be transformative. Initially, it may seem challenging, but over time it becomes an integral part of your routine. That's the crucial point, creating the habit. This applies to any aspect of our lives, and with investments, it's no different. In the beginning, your motivation may be purely aimed at improving your financial situation, protecting yourself from unforeseen events, and seeking the coveted passive income. These are legitimate and important goals, shared by many who embark on this investment journey. But as you commit to investing regularly, something magical happens. There comes a moment when investing becomes more than just a financial strategy. It transforms into an ingrained habit, an essential part of who you are. You look forward to the moment of investing, take pleasure in allocating a portion of your income to secure your financial future. We all start this journey with the hope of improving our financial situation. But along the way, we discover that the true power of investments goes beyond the numbers in our bank account. It's the feeling of control, progress, and accomplishment that propels us forward. And when this habit is ingrained in our being, investing becomes more than a financial strategy. It becomes an essential part of our life journey. Let's talk about habits, those small rituals that shape our daily lives and often determine our long-term success. Imagine, for example, the habit of going to the gym. Initially, our sole motivation may be to have a fit body. So even on days when the desire to train seems non-existent, we go. Over time, something remarkable happens. The frequency and consistency lead us to develop the habit of going to the gym. We start to find pleasure in training every day. And thus, having a fit body becomes a natural consequence of this habit. The same principle applies to the habit of investing. In the beginning, our main motivation may be to improve our finances. We may start by investing only a small amount, but it's consistency that makes all the difference. Over time, the habit of investing becomes ingrained in our routine. We start investing every month, even if it's a modest amount. And as our income increases, we also increase the amount we invest. For example, 
Let's suppose that today you earn $1,500 and start by investing just $50 per month to develop this habit. Over time, your income increases to $2,000. Now you can raise your standard of living to $1,800 and invest $200 per month, and so on. As your income grows, your ability to invest also increases thanks to the habit you've built. It's important to remember that these are hypothetical examples and that each person has their own financial reality. Also, it's crucial not to be discouraged by small returns in the beginning. Time will pass anyway, so why not start investing today? When we start putting anything into practice, we end up getting excited. And before we know it, the habit is already ingrained in our lives, leading us toward a more promising financial future. When it comes to developing a new habit, whether it's studying, reading, or investing, we often procrastinate at the beginning. It's like we're resisting change, hesitant to take the first step. However, once we overcome this initial resistance and commit to action, everything changes. It's as if a switch inside us is flipped, and suddenly we find motivation and energy to move forward. That's exactly what happens when we develop the habit of investing. At first, it may seem like a daunting task to set aside a portion of our income for investments. It's tempting to think that we're depriving ourselves of something, that we're sacrificing the present for an uncertain future. I used to think that way before I started investing. For me, saving money to invest was synonymous with giving up living. It was something only tightwads did. However, everything changed when I found a clear purpose for my investments. By setting tangible financial goals aligned with my values, I realized that investing wasn't a restriction, but an opportunity for growth. And so, month after month, the habit took root in my life. Now, setting aside a portion of my income to invest is no longer a burden, but a conscious step toward my goals. So when your income lands in your account, remember the metaphor of the spring. Like a spring, a portion of it can bounce straight into your investment account, propelling you toward your financial future. No matter how much you earn, starting is crucial. Even if it's just $2, the important thing is to create the habit. Because once you take the first step, the rest will come naturally. I hope you enjoyed the content on the habit of investing. If you resonated with the shared experiences and are committed to transforming your relationship with money, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to receive notifications of new videos. Also, I'd love to hear your opinion in the comments below. Share your experiences, questions, or suggestions for topics you'd like to see here. Together, we can build a more solid path toward financial stability and personal growth. Thank you for watching, and until the next video.